welcome back. This week we're going to go with a Dalai Lama on the multi-cam. We did this one in the past. Um, we're going to revisit it. Um, there's a couple different things on this one than when I did it in the past, but we're going to stick with the Alaska theme. This is another very popular pattern um, up there. A lot for the Dolly Varden and they'll swing them a lot for, for, for um, salmon and rainbow and everything like that. But we're going to go ahead and get into this one. Pretty quick pattern, pretty simple pattern. Um, but definitely one that should be in the rotation. So we're starting off with a Gami B10S size 4. And we're going to go with a, this is our stinger hook here. And then we're going to go with a black rabbit strip. This is a magnum. And then I'm going to take and tie this off, and then I'm going to have about an inch. hanging off of the back. So we'll get that set right in place on the back section and then get one wrap, a second, and then we'll finish that with three wraps and then really tighten that down. And then before I take the tension off, I want to get a couple of wraps on that bare hook that locks that into place. Same thing right here. We're going to spread this hair apart. And that looks better right there. So we're spreading that apart, setting that material. Once again, we'll get a second wrap, tighten that down, and then a third. Now, make sure that that's where I want it on the underneath side. Everything's sitting pretty good. And then I'm, again, just pulling down really tight on that, and then making a couple of wraps right in the front, and then we're gonna whip finish this. That's gonna complete the back hook. And then we're going to put our connection wire in. So once again with this one, I'm going to go with the spider wire. I kind of prefer this to the steel. Um, you can get away with the spider wire on this one because this rabbit strip is also going to be tied into the front. It's all connected. So that's it's, it's not going to spin on you and that's going to keep that back hook in the proper orientation. If you want to, you can go with steel wire on that one as well. Up to you on what you would like to use. The only thing about this spider wire and size four gummies is that eye is a little on the short side or a little on the small side. So I'm gonna make sure that everything there is Run in parallel. I don't have any wire or anything crossed over. And then we're set on that one. We're going to take that one out, get a size one with a cone head in here. And then that's going to be obviously our front hook. So then I'm going to take and just get my thread base down, taking that right back to the point of the hook, maybe a thread wrap or two behind it, um, but not so much to where I'm tying on that bend. So now I'm going to bring this in. Get all that hair out of the way there. And then I want about an inch difference, or I want about an inch of wire right there. I'm going to shorten that up just a touch. But again, making sure that your wires are running parallel, run that through there. And then you can take this through the cone head and back through if you want. I, I don't really see a need to do it. Um, I just double this stuff over and it's going to be more than secure enough for you. 
So then I'll take and just push my scissors right through that. Everything's good there. And get this stinger hook and the clamp. And then I want to make sure that I'm pulling that section tight. Okay. My connection wire is tight, and then I want this to be a little bit more loose than my wire. And I gotta work it back. So the reason that you want to do that obviously is so that your your wire is tight back there. There's not a lot of slack in it and whenever you get an eat it's not going to be going from here all the way back and having that extra um, recoil on it or whatever it may be you want that you want that to be pretty tight on that so now i have that all squared away and i just want to take just as we did in the, on the back hook three good wraps there's two and then a third really pull down on that and then advance that to the front then we're just going to take and wrap this all the way up to our cone head Wind's getting pretty crazy out there. We got a cold front moving in finally. It has been a long, hot summer. Worst I've seen since I've been up here. Hang on, back there fly. So like I was saying, we're just taking that right up to our cone head. And then I'm gonna trim this. Like so, I'm going to push that hide up under the cone, get a couple of good wraps right through there, and then make sure that everything, eh, that one piece still wants to stick out a little bit. I may have to push it in with the bodkin. There we go, we got that captured in there pretty good now. may need to cut that tail a little bit too, actually, it's a little bit on the long side. All right, moving right along here. We're gonna go into two pieces of lateral scale now. We're gonna take one, come on out. Huh. Couldn't get one, then I get like seven of them to pop out. So, like I said, two pieces of lateral scale, and then we're gonna double that over. And I got all sorts of them in there. We're just doubling that over and setting it right on the side there, just letting that go. I'm not worrying about the length at this point. Get that second piece of lateral scale on the opposite side. Same as the other one, just doubled over and then running right down our sides. So now I'll take, I'm going right back to where that rabbit hide stops and I'm going about a quarter of an inch shy of that. There we go. And then two more things before we finish this up. We're gonna put a throat on this one and this is just gonna be a white rabbit strip. Typically I would use a magnum on this as well, but I'm out of them. So I'm just gonna go with the regular quarter inch strip or uh, eighth inch strip, sorry. Typically I would run a mag back there, but this'll do. So find the direction that your hair's going and 
And it's a little squirrely up in there. I'm just gonna take and trim that right there. Make sure that your hair's running back toward the hook. And then we'll get that set in. Capture that, and then as you pull down on it, it's gonna suck that into the cone head portion. And then I had a where to go. find it there and then I'm going to take right at the hook point for that back hook and I'm just going to touch that up and it's going to just lay back right like that um, it's there's no other tie-in points or anything it's going to lay back like that I lost my lateral line get over here in a little bit better there once I get this last portion in it'll lock it into place so the last thing that I'm going to do on this and I think Knox just hit the camera there maybe out of focus a little maybe out of focus a little bit last thing I'm doing on this one is taking just a little bit of black ice dub and I'm gonna make a collar right in front of that cone head just a little bit in here it'll secure it up a little bit I could get away without doing it this one's pretty clean um, but I don't know I, I just like having that little bit of extra uh, flash in there a little bit of reflective property um, I don't know it it, it's personal preference. If you don't, if you want to skip this step, by all means, uh, you can. Sometimes, if you got a little sloppy with the uh, with the wraps of rabbit going to the front, you can wind up with a uh, a little gap right there. Not the case on this one. It's clean, but uh, I just like that little bit of extra flash and that little bit of extra fill leading up to our cone head. So there it sits right like that. We'll get a whip finish. One, two, three. And everything looks pretty clean there. I like that little bit of ice dub as it's gonna bleed back into this other, these other materials when it gets wet. Um, and it really gives it a nice clean look to it. Um, but like I said, completely a personal preference. I'm going to leave that as it sits. That tail's a little bit on the long side. Um, probably, I may wind up trimming that tail just a touch. Um, but if you're going to do that same as before, like when I had the uh, cut the white one, you just take your razor blade right underneath, touch that hide, and then that portion will come right off. So, not a big deal on that one, but we'll leave that as it is. And then call this one good. But there is the Dalai Lama. Like I said, another pretty popular fly up there in Alaska. One more thing um, that you see a lot of the folks do. Um, this front hook is what they call a sacrificial hook, so it's really not going to be... Um, it, it's not going to be there. You can use a shank again if you would if you would prefer to not waste a hook. But I mean, you would just take a Leatherman um, or whatever it is, cut that back section off. I'll take this out of the vise real quick. You would cut this back section off right here. Just move these materials. Take your Leatherman, probably clamp it like right there. Just squeeze down on it. Make sure that you hold that section of the hook right there as you go cutting it so it's not going to go flying off and disappearing for who knows what to get into it but that is the completed 
Dalai Lama. If you guys have any questions or comments on it, leave them with me and I'll get back to you. But thanks for watching and we'll catch you next Wednesday.